I'm so excited for today's video. I'm totally not ready though. I'm wearing the same shirt as yesterday. The question is, should I bang before this video so it's extra hype? I promised myself I'd only bang on the weekends. Yeah, yeah, it's happening. We're going in. Okay, I'm so sorry. Goodbye, Sydney. Cindy is coming for ya. This is the Root Beer Blaze. I don't know how I feel about it. Root Beer is one of my favorite sodas, but I just don't know. Wow, this sweatshirt is just really coming at me. It's really, that didn't even, what? That didn't even make sense. Okay, um, I'll be back in like 10 minutes so I can let that settle in. Update, I do not like this flavor. Hopefully I drank enough to let the caffeine hit me. Um, I'm already kind of feeling a little hyper, so it just has such a bad aftertaste. This is the only one I've tried that I hated. Okay, I don't like this angle. Okay, I've seen a bunch of YouTubers doing this video, so I wanted to do this video. I haven't watched any of them, so I don't know how it actually goes, but I went on Instagram, I asked you guys, what are assumptions that you've made about me? And this is what you guys said, so I'm going to address them, answer them. Hopefully we have a good time here. Oh, I forgot to kind of do an intro. Hi, can we just like not do intros? They're kind of annoying. I don't really like doing them. My name is Sydney. If you're new, please subscribe. We're almost at 300K. Going to Instagram, my friend said lasagna. You know, I was just thinking the same thing. <laughs> What? I don't even know. I think the bang really just hit me right away. Honestly, it could be a placebo effect and I just don't know. Brittany Forsyth said <laughs> that you're still the emo eyeliner wearing kid I met one time. Literally, we had a talk the other day and she's like, I thought I was going to hate you because when she met me, we went to like this amusement park and I guess when I was in eighth grade, I'll insert a picture. I always had eyeliner, like so much of it. I was just learning makeup. I didn't really know. Oh, I just looked so bad and I looked emo, but we all went through that emo stage. <laughs> Okay, so these two are right next to each other, which actually cracks me up. So the first one says that you think smoking and drinking is bad, but then the one next to it says, I'm assuming you smoke pot. Not bad at all, by the way, you're so pretty and you inspire me. First of all, thank you so much. Second of all, that is hilarious. Um, so I guess to answer those, one, I've actually never smoked weed before, uh, which is like, it's so funny because so many people think that about me and I don't know why. I don't know if it's just the way I act or like, I don't know. Literally, since I started high school, that rumor has been spread about me so many different ways like on the internet in real life Everyone thinks that I'm a stoner, so I don't know where that came from and I don't I don't like judge like I don't care if you smoke or if you drink I personally don't want to do it. I like having control of my mind I've been like trying to be super healthy lately and I know those energy drinks aren't the best thing for me But I also know that smoking and drinking definitely not good for me Someone said I assume that you wish you had more friends honestly Kind of. Yes and no, because friends, a lot of friends equals a lot of drama, and I've been there, I've done that, but also, zero friends equals zero fun. So I'm like kind of in between right now. I assume that you're very hyper. That is a fun fact about me, yes. But honestly, I'm not always 100% hyper. I'm honestly either like dead or hyper, not really ever in between, so sleep is for the week, that's all I gotta say. <sighs> Don't. Another uh, another assumption is that I stay up really late. That is facts. Everyone is just like, oh, I feel like you're a partier. I feel like you're crazy. <laughs> Someone said, I assume that you would like parties because of how hype you are. So actually, okay, my sophomore year was like my crazy year. I never like did anything bad, but I always went to parties and stuff. It was way fun. I would just like always took Ox, play all my crazy music and dance in the front and get everyone hyped. Like I turned parties into like raves. It was great. Someone said, I assume that life is amazing 24 seven for you. Okay, I wasn't gonna address like serious ones cause I'm in a hyper mood, but like on a real note, I think this is actually way important. Anyone that you watch on YouTube, anyone that you follow on Instagram and you think their life is perfect literally all the time, I promise you it's not. I literally had a mental breakdown like a week ago and was just like, on the floor and crying and life is not perfect all the time half the time I just want to cry for the rest of my life and half the time I'm hyper and having fun filming videos no one has a perfect life stop assuming that about people it's not all fun and games okay <laughs> you love to travel and break rules facts honestly like when someone tells me not to do something I turn into a relatable teen and I do the opposite a thousand people ask me this but they're like I assume that you're a virgin and you are correct waiting for marriage because I love God thanks you know not trying to be 17 and pregnant but like 
Maybe that's just me. Okay, it's actually really funny because so many people think that I'm like tall and then they meet me and they're like, why am I taller than you? I'm 5'1", I'm pretty short. Sometimes I'm 5'2", it really just depends. I wear a lot of platform shoes. I try to get height on me, but like got short legs, got a short torso. I'm just a short gal and that's the way it is. I just might cry. This person said you have the best music playlist and have the cutest room decorations. First of all, I always feel like everyone hates my music and I don't know where my music taste comes from. And then like second of all, I always think that my room looks like trash. So like that literally was the best compliment ever. Comment down below if you guys want a room tour. I've been putting it off because I think my room is so ugly. Like I just hate like 90% of it, but then like some things I'm like, yeah. Like there's this one spot on my wall where I'm like, that looks so good but then everything else is like trash. Okay, someone said, I assume that you're rich AF and spoiled. <laughs> not true. 100% honest with you guys because we're family. My family's, I mean, we're not rich, but we're not poor. We're just like, I mean, we're well off. We can afford to like go on vacations, and we, but like my dad works really hard for his money. He owns a business. He's owned this business like twice. He's been a realtor his whole life. And if you know much about real estate, the economy literally crashed in like 2008 and my family had to move in with my grandma. Things weren't good. So like, I'm not sitting here being like, I'm rich, I'm spoiled. I live in a nice house and, but I'm definitely not spoiled. My entire life, I've had to work for everything. Getting my car, I paid for half of it. I paid for my own gas. I. I'm about to have to pay my own rent. Like, I'm not spoiled. If I wanted a DS as a kid, you better bet your bottom dollar I was out in the yard raking leaves and mulching the mulch. I don't know <laughs> how to explain. My whole life, like, every Saturday was a work day. We got up, we worked. Like, I've never just been able to just get whatever I want. Daddy can buy me whatever I want. It's never been like that. Honestly, most of the really nice things I own, I've bought myself. You guys know, like, I mean, YouTubers make money. That's just a fact. And I thank you guys literally so much for it because you guys have helped me be able to afford to buy a camera and a laptop and lighting. Like, so essential to making good YouTube videos. But I'm definitely not rich and I'm definitely not spoiled. I work really, really hard for what I have. My parents work really, really hard for what they have. And I mean, we're not poor, but we're definitely not rich. I assume that you're a popular girl in high school. Okay, this is kind of a complicated question. So here's how it goes. When I was in middle school, I was part of the popular group. I don't know, those are just who my friends were. And then time went on and I kind of just like stopped caring. I started hanging out with my family all the time, still hung out with my friends, but just didn't really care that much. Comes high school, um, I just like don't care. I mean, everyone knew who I was for a couple different reasons, which made me popular, I guess. Like people knew who I was, but I wasn't a part of the popular group. So there's like two populars, the popular group, and then there's like popular as in everyone just knows who you are and you're just like friends with a lot of different people. That was me. I had friends in like every different friend group. I would talk to anyone who would talk to me. I was nice to everyone. I didn't really have beef with people. I was just kind of who I am, or at least who I tried to be. I wonder what people actually have to say about me. And then people knew about me, one, because of my YouTube channel, and two, before I even had my YouTube channel, I have so many cousins, so many siblings, and they've all gone through the same schools. So like the McGee's were popular because there were so many of us. And like my cousin was a star football player. And like, like all my siblings were like, like, on cabinet like everyone just knew who they were they were just like popular in school because of the things that they did and because we've like all tried to be like nice to everyone so i was popular but i wasn't like in the popular group if that makes sense a lot of people are like i assume that you're really rude and just like mean to people and i mean i kind of see how people might think that because i'm really honest and in my videos i get like crazy off the walls and then i like don't even care about what i'm saying and i honestly don't care what people have to say about me I do, I'm honestly like, okay, if you know anything about Pisces, and I said this a while ago, but I'm the most Pisces Pisces there is, and I feel like so deeply what people feel around me. Like literally, my brothers will like, they'll be like really mean to me because they're my brothers and that's what brothers do. And then I'll say something mean to them and then I'll like ponder on it for like 20 minutes and be like, that was so mean, I can't do that. Like when I try to be mean, I feel so bad I like crawl in a ball and I'm just like oh my gosh I'm such a terrible person someone said that you've changed and you're really different now than in the beginning and maybe that's just me you are 100% correct I mean I think if you go to any youtuber and you watch their beginning of their videos or you've been subscribed for a long time you're like oh my gosh they've changed yeah because it's been three years since I started making YouTube videos I was 14 now I'm almost 18 yeah 
I've changed. Like, I'm not, like, this little girl anymore. Like, I'm almost 18. I'm becoming an adult. I'm older. I've gone through life experiences that changed me. No one stays the same. I hate, it literally triggers me how people hate change and like they hate when people change yeah people change you grow out of friendships you grow out of relationships you grow out of yourself you become a whole new person I guarantee if you were to watch videos of yourself from three years ago you'd be like oh my gosh i've changed no kidding it was three years ago everyone changes that's just facts join the family hit that subscribe button turn on notifications because my posting schedule is who knows right now until i'm like back on my regular schedule thank you guys so much for watching and commenting asking me questions i hope you enjoyed i love you and i will see you in the next one bye